Can't record one. All right, and they share a screen. So, uh, <clears throat> Jeff on the center, uh, so and Jeff Overton, a longtime center worker, uh, he shared this this uh, quote um, the other day with me, and I was like really touched by it. And this was he heard Eric say this, I guess, at Mongoli Hall, some question. He didn't know, he didn't remember all the details, but so this is Eric quoting Baba. If my lovers cultivate thoughts of world peace, then it would be brought about. <clears throat> so there you go. <clears throat> if my lovers cultivate thoughts of world peace, then it would be brought about. So I thought that was really affirming for what we're doing. <clears throat> Thank you, Baba. And uh, let's just start with a little video. Let's see, where are they? Oh, this one should. There's a flash mob in Finland during the Ukrainian national anthem done a month ago. <laughs> nice energy. I like flash mob videos. <laughs>
Hmm. Google Fi. All right, let's start. So <clears throat> we'll continue our collective prayers for the Ukraine, for peace there, peace in the world. And we'll start by closing our eyes, settling in. Being comfortable in your chair of alert. We'll start with bringing our attention to our breath for a moment, just being with your own breath in a gentle and intimate way, just with the rise and fall of the breath, helping to anchor us in the present moment. And as we're breathing, the body starts to soften. Muscles that are tight that don't need to be held tightly just can start to let go on their own. We imagine a smile. Baba's smile, Buddha's smile, filling the whole sky above our heads, from horizon to horizon. When we begin to merge with that smile, bring it inside us, bring it inside our heads, slowing the mind down with the smile, letting the smile come to the Corners of the eyes, across the brow, bringing in that spacious awareness, deep peace and serenity. Filling the eyes themselves, eyeballs like two lotus flowers floating in a pond, loosely, gently. We're going to smile to the corners of the mouth, that slight smile like the Buddhist smile. And the inside of the mouth, the teeth, the gums, the tongue, like to the root of the tongue, filling the whole palate. The jaw loosens a little bit, slackens a little bit. Bring our awareness inside the shoulders, the space inside the shoulders, front and back, and the smile there with spacious awareness, presence. If there's any tightness there, it's seeing if it wants to untangle on its own. And then you breathe, breathing into the shoulders. Just a gentle rise and follow the breath like gentle waves on the sea. Just moving down from the inside, the length and volume of the arms to the hands and fingers, just feeling into the hands and fingers from the inside, letting them soften. I mean, the smile soften them. Notice any tingling of aliveness or vibrating there. Just be with that. Coming back to the breath, letting the belly soften even more with each breath. With this breath, and this breath. 
Letting the smile fill the whole abdominal and pelvic region. On the inside. Down the legs, the inside to the feet, just feeling into and listening to the feet from the inside and the toes. And again, any tingling, vibrating sensations there, just be with that and appreciate it. Life energy vibrating. I'm at a tender, wakeful awareness. Get the smile, just fill the whole body. And as we do, the mind just melts into the body like ice melting into water. And tender awareness. Let that awareness expand so that the whole body is a living, vibrating field of energy, field of his presence, be with the smile. So bring awareness to the heart center. Um, it helps if you want to place your right hand on your upper chest and make that connection to the heart. A very special place that's tender. Might have a memory of your mother rubbing vapor rub there when you were sick as a child and it felt really good. Just starting to breathe in and out of the heart. Slower rhythm. Breathing in the smile, letting it fill the space of the heart. Bringing that presence that's right here to the heart. And sensing the state of your heart right now. How's it doing? You know, you don't have to give it a specific word or label, just a felt sense. It could be like you know, flowing or tight or open and closed. Just a felt sense. Just be with that for a moment. I'm not trying to change anything, I'm not opposing anything, I'm not trying to make anything happen, just being with. The eyes continuing to soften, the mouth, the arms and legs. Belly, feet. From here, well, if you want invocation, we ask our beloved to hear our prayers for the Ukraine, your concern, empathy, and compassion, and resonance with the people there, the suffering there. Help us to accept his will for what's happening there. Let's start take the name of the most high or beloved 
Mary Baba's name, the Buddha's name, the one great spirit, Allah, whatever your name is for the most time, just place that in your heart with the breath. Slowly. And as you do, just noticing the effect that the name has in the heart. Let's just start to go deeper now into the heart. This happens naturally. Letting the heart open even more. It's going deeper and deeper inside. And as you do, you might sense there's a more subtlety, sense of refinement more quiet inside. More sense of holiness. Bring your, let's bring our beloved's presence into the deep heart. Bring his physical presence, spiritual presence, right into the heart and just being with that, being with him, opening and receiving, and drinking out of love and the light. Those opening into the sun in the morning. Okay, good. So there, holding that presence, making a connection to your hearts in this event, making hearts together for a shared purpose, bringing that vessel that we've created, bringing it to life again. And then directly connecting just to all the be parts of everyone who feels the pain, shares concern for what's happening there in the Ukraine. And then we'll transmit that presence, love, what we're receiving, we give it back, we directly Transmit it to the heart of the Ukraine, knowing that all Ukrainians everywhere are connected to that heart and to the heart of Russia, too. All the good people in Russia who also are concerned. And just start that on your own. Just be with that in your own deep way.
<clears throat> poem by Dorothy Hunt. Peace is this moment without judgment. Peace is this moment without thinking that it should be some other way, that you should feel some other thing, that your life should unfold according to your plans. Peace is this moment without judgment, this moment in the heart space where everything that is, is welcome.
So we'll start to wind down today's meditation, just knowing that our prayers will continue to resonate in the heart of Ukraine. And we will, as we connect every day, even for a few seconds, that will keep that resonation, the reverberation of the prayers alive. Read that Bible quote again. If my lovers cultivate thoughts of world peace, then it would be brought about. So, first we'll go inside, stay inside, and give appreciation and gratitude, thankfulness to our beloved. For whatever you gave, you received and sent. Appreciation to each other. Thankfulness for the awakened hearts around the world. We want peace. And what's a blessing? Just placing these statements in your heart. May I be free of all suffering. May all beings everywhere be free of all suffering. May I find lasting peace and contentment. May all beings everywhere find lasting peace and contentment. And lastly, may I awaken and be free. May all beings everywhere awaken and be free. And just opening your eyes, stand with yourself for a moment. Feeling the quality of presence in your being. 